what's up you guys marty schwartz here and real happy to be bringing you another classic lesson and also just remind you this is my youtube channel this is the only place where i'm going to be making new videos so please subscribe like the video leave comments i appreciate all that support you know uh it's great to just be back giving uh lessons and and uh hanging out with you guys. So anyway, we'll zoom in. I'm going to show you the chords. we got a capo on the second fret. I'm going to show you the chords first through the song, and then I'll give you some rhythm ideas to work on as well. So anyway, thanks a lot, and uh, let's zoom in and do it. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to show you the chords first, and then we'll work on a rhythm after we get the chords down with the song. So we got the capo on the second fret, and then in a similar fashion to Wish You Were Here, we have a pinky on the third fret, right here of the high E and ring finger on the third fret up from the capo on the B string. And these are just glued down for the whole song. Those are gonna stay for everything we do. So then from there, we just manipulate our middle finger and index finger to move around and play, the re you know, play through the song. So the first chord is an E minor and with these two down, we'll call it E minor seven. So it's second fret of the A, second fret of the D up from the capo. Like so. Then the next chord is a G chord, and we take our middle finger and put it to the third fret of the low E. So we have E minor to G. Next, we take these two off and we move our index, or I'm using my index, to the second fret of the G and we try to avoid playing the low E and the A, and we get a D sus4. Now if you get the open A in there with that chord, that's okay, but the low E makes it pretty muddy. So we put those together, E minor, G major, D sus4, and then A7 sus4, which index finger moves up to the second fret of the D, and middle finger is second fret of the G right next to it. And you get the open A in there. And that is the verse. E minor, G, D sus4, A7 sus4. Okay, the next section of the song, which is what we're going to call the pre-chorus, is, is uh, remember, these are still glued down. So third fret of the A, second fret of the D, and we're going to call this uh, C add nine. Just like the G, but scoot it over. So C add nine, and then that D chord we already learned. And then the E minor 7 we already learned for twice as long. C at 9, D sus 4 to E minor 7. Four we already learned. And so check it out. We do the C add nine, D sus four, E minor seven. Then you do it a second time. And then 
on the third one. And so uh, it's a walk down from G to E minor, which is, happens in lots of songs. We do the G. We're hitting that bass note. So G. And then these fingers come off and index goes to the second fret. And then E minor, so. So G, second fret of the E, E minor, but I don't A7 plus four. So. Third one. So then that brings us to the chorus. Now the chorus doesn't have any new chords in it. We uh, simply do the C, baby, then the E minor. So we got C, and then G to E minor. So C to E minor. So then that's the chorus, and that pretty much gets you through the whole song. All right, I'm going to give you a basic rhythm to go with that will get you through the song, but there, there are variations, but I want to give you a rhythm to get you going. So if I tell you down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So there's going to be variations, but this starting point is great for you and then the other thing is it's going one two three 
four, and but you want your hand going one and two and three and four, and you want it swinging up and down to the tempo. So, I gave you the beginner point, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. But then on the A7 sus4, up, 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 down, up, down, up. And then on the D, he's doing more down ups than on the on the first two chords. But I want to give you that starting point just so you can get through the song and then you know, I always am varying my rhythms, you know, getting it uh, in that tempo and that feeling. Um, so, you know, you can have a little freedom with that. And I'm always feeling that pulse there. So on that A7 sus4, up, 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 down, up, down, up. And the other, you know, the, the pre-chorus and the chorus, same idea. And so the only other thing is on the walk down, the G chord, you kind of want to hit that bass note and then pick over. Second fret, E minor. going so it's like down down up 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 There was the lesson. I hope you got something from that. Uh, please uh, leave comments about other songs you want to learn. Uh, like the video. Uh, subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate it so much. Um, and not only that, I can't wait to see you in another classic lesson real soon. So take care, and uh, we'll see you there.